We've all heard the expression, when mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. It's because it's kind of true. I mean, these sayings, they don't just come out of nowhere. They're usually based on some kind of truth. And if you are a mom and you have even one child, you know that uh, the atmosphere of your home and how things go on a daily basis, how things run, really does have a lot to do with you. It has a lot to do with your uh, mood, um, your approach to things. It's just, you know, we, we as moms, we kind of just set the tone for the whole family. And it can be hard not to let other people's bad attitudes and bad choices bring us down, you know, but we must rise above. That might be a bit much, but you know what I'm saying. We have to we have to be bigger than our children's emotions at times, and that can be hard to do. So today I'm sharing with y'all eight tips of things that I do to kind of turn things around uh, when I feel like the day is going uh, off, off the rails a bit, when things are getting off track, um, when it's just kind of crappy, honestly, and I know I need to turn myself around, turn this ship around and get us uh, going in a better direction, a more favorable wind. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you join us here in this little community we have built. It's wonderful, it's lovely, it's an amazing community. Uh, if you don't know me, if you are new, um, my name is Angela. Hello. Uh, I am a mom of eight children. My oldest is 15, my youngest is two. I've been around the block, the mothering block, if you will, a time or two. I don't ever share these types of videos where I give advice to you from a place of perfection or a place of telling you this is how you have to do it or you're doing it the wrong way. Uh, this is just based on my 15 years of experience as a mother and uh, what has worked for me and some of the the advice and the the wisdom if you will that i listened to and leaned on and sometimes and many times learned the hard way myself and so i just want to share that with y'all so tip number one turn on some music now listen it, depending on where the atmosphere is where the mood is will possibly determine the type of music you turn on at this point um i have you know what i'm going to share it with you guys i've never shared my spotify playlist uh, before i have a number of them but one of my favorite ones is one i call sunshine and it is the playlist that i turn on when i just want to dance around the kitchen dance around the living room with the kids when we're trying to bebop around and do chores tidy up get things done uh, when I just need to turn around my mood or even my kids' moods, it works. I will share that with you guys, but number one is turn on some music. You can do, sometimes I do worship music, depending on, again, what I'm trying to change about my own mood, because really, again, remember that the only thing you can change is you. So if your family is all acting like a bunch of jerks, you can change you. And don't do it in a sarcastic way. That comes from guilty, okay, right here, guilty. Done that before too. Don't be like, okay, well, I'm just gonna be nice and everybody else is just acting like a bunch of You have to really mean it from the heart. You're gonna turn this ship around. And yeah, does it suck that sometimes you have to be the one to do that? It does, but you know what? Life is full of challenges and this is really, in the grand scheme of things, not the worst thing that could ever happen to you. We, we have to just kind of take ownership over that right the ship and get going in the right direction. So turning on music. Number two, get down and play with your kids. Again, I always tease my kids that the reason I have eight kids is so that I don't have to play games. <laughs> so that I don't have to play things and do things I don't want to do. Um, I had so many of you guys so that you can all play with each other. That's the point. And really truthfully, not to like go off on a tangent, but let's just look historically uh, about mothers and our, our roles in taking care of kids and in raise, you know, raising families and such. M moms throughout history were not uh, on the floor playing with their kids all day. They were cooking and cleaning and mending clothing and plowing fields and planting things and weeding and harvesting and so many tasks and roles as a mother throughout history that, um, I'm certain that our ancestral mothers did not sit and feel super guilty about not wanting to play Legos today. Uh, but that is a, a, a modernity thing. It is a modern, 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 nope, modern. It's a modern motherhood problem. Um, is that because a lot of those other things have been taken off of our shoulders, we have dishwashers that wash our dishes. We have washing machines that wash our clothes, dryers that dry them. Um, 
you know, we still haven't invented something to fold and put away clothes, but I hope that that's not too far behind. The point is, is that because we have more time on our hands, that gives us more time to feel guilty for doing and not doing certain things. Listen, when I say to play with your kids in this, I'm talking like, grab yourself 15 minutes and sit down and color. I love to color with my kids. I love pulling out the crayons and the coloring books and color with my kids. Find something that you sort of enjoy doing and do that with your kids. It will help you connect with them. It'll help them feel seen by you. Um, and if you really just shut out all the distractions and, and do something like color um, and play with some of their toys with them, Barbies, Legos, whatever, whatever it is that your kid enjoys playing with. But just doing something like that with them, it can help reestablish that connection um, and it can help to kind of calm, you know, feelings that are, are frazzled at the moment. Number three, open your windows. Whether you live in a townhouse, an apartment, a large home, it doesn't matter. Open your windows and get some fresh air. Let the breeze come through. Um, you know, obviously this is gonna be time of year dependent a little bit, but even in the winter um, and even, well, I mean, in the dead of summer, you know, you don't wanna let all your air conditioning out. But the point is you wanna get some fresh air. You wanna get that breeze blowing through the house, get that cross breeze going. It's amazing what opening the windows can do. At the very least, make sure you've gone around and opened all of your curtains if you can't actually open the windows right now. It seems like such a little thing, but I notice it like in the kitchen particularly when I'm feeling like oh, temperature's rising in here, <laughs> um, and metaphorically speaking, I will open the windows. And it's just amazing what that little bit of, not just the air, but the sounds. If you uh, can get, you know, if you're in a place where, you know, you, you're hearing birds outside your window. Now I'm imagining somebody in like a high rise apartment in New York City opening their windows and hearing honking and a bunch of like, you know, and it's like, okay, well, that's not exactly going to change the atmosphere. If that's not your circumstance, <laughs> um, just open your windows, get some fresh air, nature sounds, birds, trust me. Number four, and this kind of goes with number two, but I, I think this is, you know, depending on the age of your kids, okay, build a puzzle with your kids, play a game with them, something that you're actually like, you know, sitting down strategizing, right? So I don't mean like Legos, Barbies, imagination play. I mean like maybe it's like a little bit competitive, something like that, or a puzzle that requires you to like work together and be a team and, you know, just taking 15 or 20 minutes to sit down, we can, despite the fact that we have all of the machines and stuff to help us with our daily tasks, we still get really, really busy and really, really caught up in the tasks of our home, in the chores of our home, and all the things that need to be done in our to-do lists and such. And sometimes we forget to just enjoy our children. We are all guilty of it. Um, I, I know I am for sure. And so just saying, you know what, literally, no one's gonna die, nothing is going to completely go off the rails, our whole life isn't gonna fall apart. If I sit down with a cup of coffee uh, or you know, an afternoon chai tea or something and build a puzzle with my kids for a little bit. You know, there's just, these are things that can help reset yourself um, and your children. Number five, this is a big one. I talk about a couple of these pretty frequently um, whenever I do share you know, what I do in a day or any kind of advice. These are things I talk about, but number five is to light a candle or diffuse some oils or open up one of those like reed diffuser things um, or put something on the stove. Uh, I will share a recipe down below in the description box for you for a lovely like spring summer stove top uh, sort of recipe that you can just put on simmer and it will make your whole house smell so lovely. Oh, it's just, it's the best. Your house will just, it'll smell so like fresh and clean and inviting. I, I love it. So if you're not into burning candles, maybe you've got cats or kids or you just don't wanna do that, you could still diffuse oils. I love doing that, especially uh, again, in sort of like the kitchen main living areas. I have certain ones for certain times of year that I, I like to use. Um, but really, when we're talking about changing the atmosphere of our home, I really like to think of it in terms of like all of the senses. What are we hearing? What are we seeing? What are we smelling? 
Um, and first of all, these are all amazing memories to make for your kids. And they're going to live in here forever and in here forever. And then when they're older, they're going to smell something somewhere that goes, oh my gosh, that smells like mom's house. That smells like being with mama. And it's just the, these things, I, I this happens to me all the time. I have these flashback memories, particularly related to scents um, and a little bit sounds, but mostly scents. So really kind of touching on all of those senses as we're kind of trying to change the atmosphere when things get crazy. Of course, that brings me to number six, which is to bake something and listen, you don't need to get all Martha Stewart here. When I say bake something, I don't mean you need to pull out grandma's recipe book and make a huge mess in your kitchen. Go to the store and buy one of those, um, it's not Martha Stewart, but it's Martha something. Martha White? I don't know. It's a bag of muffins that you just add water to. Well, you don't add water to the bag of muffins. It's a mix inside the bag. You add water to that. My point is it takes no great skill whatsoever. In fact, it doesn't even take oil and butter and milk and blah, 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 blah. It's just add water and bake, okay? They've got blueberry ones, chocolate ones. They're like 99 cents a bag. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now look, if you wanna make homemade bread, if you want to um, you know, make something from scratch, do it, right? But that's not everybody's cup of tea. But don't let that stop you from just making something warm. It smells good in the oven. It, it feels to your kids. Mama made us some muffins. They're not going, well, she made them from a bag though, so I'm not gonna eat those. Kids don't care. They don't care. It's another way to connect, right? You make some muffins. You've got the music playing. Maybe you sit down and do a puzzle together. And really all of this, those muffins take like 10 minutes. All of this can be done. You could do all of these things in like under an hour, but you could just pick a couple of them in 15 minutes and turn your day around. Um, so you don't have to do these things every day, but this is just, I'm saying like, you are feeling like, I wanna run away, I don't like these people anymore. I love them, but I do not like them and I need to leave. You want to run away. These are the things we're doing to bring ourselves back and be like, I love these people. I love these people. Okay, number seven is fresh flowers. I love how putting out some fresh flowers just changes, it really does, it just changes the atmosphere of everything. And I am somebody who used to, it actually like, I feel I feel a hurt in my heart having to say this out loud. I'm somebody who used to not like flowers. It, it wasn't that I, did, obviously who, who doesn't like flowers, right? It's not that I didn't like flowers. I just was always like, oh, such a waste. I didn't like it when my husband bought me flowers or something, because I was like, oh, such a waste of money. You know, <laughs> I was like, we, we need every penny right now. Why are you wasting it on flowers? Um, and, and there's some truth to that, obviously. But remember that, first of all, Trader Joe's has bunches of flowers for like $4.99, okay? So we don't have to break the bank here to put out a pretty bouquet. And also, and also, you could just go for a walk with your kids and pick some wildflowers, pick some dandelions. You can make a really pretty bouquet out of just, it doesn't even like leaves and things with a few dandelions in it, right? It's just bringing a little bit of nature into your home. It's bringing a little bit of the outside in um, and just having something pretty to gaze upon. Uh, we sometimes forget that something beautiful just for its own sake, for the sake of its beauty, is worthwhile and it doesn't have to it doesn't have to have some deeper meaning or greater purpose or world changing thing happening here we're just talking about little simple things that can help you change how you're feeling inwardly which will change what you're doing outwardly which has a massive massive impact on your family don't be cynical i've been cynical for a long time about certain things and just being like well that's dumb that's just a waste of this one that's dumb. you don't have to be cynical sometimes these things are worthy just because they can help you change your heart uh, your posture towards things and um, it's okay for a little bit of frivolity it's good to mix a little bit of that into your day and into your life the last one number eight one of my faves and i have done this with my kids for years and years ever since my first was i don't know probably two was when i did, really did the first one which is to pull out the photo albums and sit down and go through them. Look at pictures of your kids with your kids. Look at their baby pictures. Look at their toddler pictures. This is something our family loves to do. If you, first of all, we don't have like fancy albums. I'm talking like we have like Amazon, Costco albums with just printed four by six photos in them. 
okay? It's nothing fancy. My kids love it. You can also sit and just look through pictures on your phone. We also, because some of our kids are adopted and we have like videos of their homecomings and things like that, uh, they like to watch those from time to time. And it's just, it's special and fun. And it can just, again, like help to bring that connection back. I just love sitting and flipping through photo albums with my kids. They love doing it. Um, and it's just a, a great way to spend a little bit of time together, reconnect, and remember some of the really, really good times and to help, again, just change your attitude towards the day, change your posture towards the situation, which will permeate into your family. It will permeate into your kids, into your husband, into you know everybody's attitudes and demeanors. Only thing you can control is you. And I think sometimes as moms, we want to control everyone else around us. We want our kids to just listen, just behave like, Ugh! and you can't force that. Um, all you can do is model that. Of course, taking your proper steps for you know a, a discipline and, and training your children in in the ways that you want them to behave and such. But again, at the end of the day, you're never going to be able to control everyone's behavior around you. You can only control you, the choices you make, what you do. Um, and I think that's so important to own that as moms. We all know that kids are gonna kids are gonna be kids, right? Uh, you know, husbands are going to be husbands and everybody and, and moms are going to be moms, by the way. Like, let's make sure that we're recognizing, too, that we aren't always plum peaches. OK, we're not always fun to be around. We're not always kind and gentle and sweet and wonderful. We can be snarky and witchy and all of those same things. Right. So our husband can't can't make us change our behavior and be kinder and uh, not so short fused or whatever. We can't change other people's behavior, only our own. That's what I would encourage you with today is, um, you know, just some of these things that I like to do when I feel like things are going a bit off the rails and I just really want to change the atmosphere of the home. I do these steps mostly for me to change my own heart, my own posture, my own attitude, and then watch that permeate into the other people in my household into my husband, into my children. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you've not already. Um, and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye. Maybe we'll make the millions or have ourselves some children.